Hello, my name is Joseph Lumpkin. I am the CEO and writer for Fifth Estate Publishing. Fifth Estate brings ancient wisdom to modern man through the uh, production of great translations in modern English, of texts ancient and esoteric that would not normally be available uh, to the modern reader. Today I want to talk to you about fallen angels, the watchers, the Nephthalim, the origins of evil. We are told in the book of Enoch, the lost books of Enoch, how the sons of God, who were the watchers, the angels that were sent to record and teach, came down to the daughters of men and took them as wives. We are told that these fallen angels fathered offspring. The offspring were giants and men of renown. And we believe that those men of renown are actually uh, those uh, people like Hercules and Achilles that were not human but not God. They were men of legend, men of, of, um, of history, men of myth. And I find it odd that when the angels came down and took these women to be their wives, they did not run. They did not escape. They did not attempt to flee. But they stayed behind and they raised children. And we are told that God said to one of the leaders of the fallen angels, you have done great destruction on the earth and you shall have no peace nor forgiveness, forgiveness of sin. And since you delight yourselves in your children, you will see them murdered. We will murder your beloved ones. And you will see the destruction of your children, and you shall lament and make supplication forever, and you will receive neither mercy nor peace. So even God looks down on the fallen angels and on the children that they fathered and says that he understands that they love their children, but they're going to see them die. This is quite extraordinary. We don't think of the fallen angels in this way. We believe them to be bloodthirsty and uh, violent and cannibalistic. But it seems that that was actually their children and not them. As a matter of fact, they seem to be full of wisdom and knowledge, although misled and given to their lust. The children that they raised those offspring between corporeal and spiritual were the monsters that we now think of as demons. And this is another way to look at it. And there's a list of knowledge that's found that God found most forbidding, most appalling, that it was taught. And the angels taught men charms, and they taught us about plants, casting of spells, the cutting of roots, and counter spells, that is, release from spells, they taught us astrology and divination, knowledge of clouds, signs of the earth and signs of the sun and the course of the moon. And Azazel taught uh, how to make swords and knives and shields, breastplates, about metal of the earth and the working and the art of it, bracelets and ornaments and the use of antimony and the beautifying of eyelids and the kinds of precious stones and all of the colorings and dyes. And it said what Azazel had done was to taught, teach men unrighteousness and reveal the eternal secrets that were kept in heaven. And now men were striving to learn them. And so God decided to cleanse the earth of all of this evil by destroying all the people who had been taught this ancient knowledge. But in the book of Jasher, we are taught that when they came down when the angels came down, they also taught men other things. They taught them to um, mix animal species. In the book of Jasher, it says, they taught the mixture of animal, one species with the other, and in order therein to provoke God, and God saw that, and the whole world was corrupted with it, and the flesh on the earth was corrupted and all men and all animals. And the Lord said, I will blot out all men that I created from the face of the earth 
And this in the book of Jasher is one of the reasons that God destroyed the earth by flood. When the angels came down and they taught man to mix one species with the other, it was probably uh, the uh, attempt to explain uh, the myth of the uh, uh, the harpy and uh, the centaur and the minotaur and all of the creations of different species that we see in myth, both man and animal and animal and animal uh, with the, the uh, claws of a lion and the beak of, uh, of an eagle and such as this. Uh, for in the Roman and Greek philosophies or, or, or uh, mythologies, we see these things. And probably this was an attempt to reconcile that. But it also says in those days uh, men began to trespass against God and go contrary uh, to his uh, commandment to be prolific and to reproduce. And men caused their wives to drink a mixture that would render them unable to conceive in order that they might retain their figure and their beauty and the appearance would not fade. And if their wives got pregnant, they would put them away and go live with their girlfriends. Things certainly don't change in time, do they? And this is from the book of Jasher. And it says in those days, uh, Enoch assembled all the men together and uh, made them bow down and he taught them all the knowledge that God had taught him because he was about to be uh, assumed up into heaven. And this is in the book of Jasher. In the book of Jubilees, we find that the word uh, mestim uh, comes about, and that means adversary, and it's the first time that uh, uh, Satan is called mestima, or the adversary or the accuser. Uh, he's also called, uh, or actually, uh, Belial is mentioned, and, and this is a, a Greek name for uh, Belial, and uh, that's the Hebrew equivalent of a name that means of no value. And he apparently was the head of the demons, the head of the fallen angels, according to this particular book. In this book, in the book of Jubilees, the angels converse in Hebrew. Hebrew is the heavenly tongue. And uh, angels spoke Hebrew until the fall. Uh, it's also an attempt to address a question in Genesis uh, uh, confronting uh, Cain's wife. In the book of Jubilees, we're taught that Cain married his sister. And that got rid of, uh, of, of that quandary. We're also taught that when the offspring uh, were born between angels and women, they fell into three categories. The Nephilim the giants, and the Elio. And the Elio is given no explanation whatsoever. We're simply taught that there are three types of species that came about. There's also a book called the Book of Giants where the angels are named and in the middle of the naming of these angels the name Gilgamesh appears. The Sumerian God King appears in the middle of a book in the Dead Sea Scrolls called the Book of the Giants. Now, what I'm going to tell you is that in the book, The Fallen Angels, The Watchers, and The Origins of Evil, put out by Fifth Estate Publishing, you have all of these books combined into one basic narrative. Look right now on your screen and you'll see Fallen Angels, Watchers, Origins of Evil. Now, Fifth Estate is at www.fifthestatepub. Dot com. That's www.fifthestatepub.com. And we have two books that put together uh, all of these books that I have given you into a narrative. They cover Jasher, Jubilees, the Book of Giants, Genesis, and others. So look us up on the web or go to Amazon and you will see uh, the, the uh, Watchers and the Fallen Angels and the Origins of Evil. My name is Joseph Lumpkin. This is Fifth Estate Publishing, right there on your uh, uh, desktop is that book, and have a wonderful day.